Now for the most important Your wife who is shit Who is best girl video of all Or Hime Inoue Versus Rukia Kuchki Now since we are doing the most important video Of the series Of this series I think I would come in with the baritone as low as I could go voice I don't know if there's any lower to go but I'm gonna get there <laughs> I'm gonna get there because in this video who is best girl or Hime or Rukia in the beginning of Bleach what you had was see what you had was at the beginning you had to retrieve a uh, Rukia arc save Rukia that's what you gotta save the princess. That's what it's all about. Rukia, Rukia, this, Rukia, that. People saw it in the beginning. Of course, at the end, just like I thought with Naruto and Sakura, of course, at the end, it's gonna be Rukia and Ichigo at the end. That's what everybody thought. That's what I thought as well. But in the middle, something happened. The Iran car, the Iran car arc, and the, um, I forgot what is it called? Kura, Karakura Town arc, you know. So things change in the middle because it became a save or retrieve or a Hime arc. So then it was flipped over and then everybody saw how grand and luscious and voluptuous or Hime in no way was compared to Rukia. I mean, it's a no brainer. Best girl here is or Hime all the way. But you said in your uh, Sakura versus Hinata video that blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter, you fools. Clearly any man of culture with two eyes can see that it was always meant to be, or Hime it was meant to be, not Rukia. See, I'm just gonna say it like this. Your waifu, sadly Rukia, your waifu is a shit. Because during all those arcs, what was Rukia doing during the Aranka arc and all those arcs? Especially uh, the later arcs close to the Thousand Year Blood War, I didn't finish that yet, but... What was your waifu doing? She was fighting battles like a man. <laughs> she was out there just playing the role of a secondary character like Renji. Where was her in the love triangle? Where was she in the love story? She was nowhere to be found. She's like, hey, Ichigo, get him for me. That's all she was saying. And then he turned to her and he's like, yeah, I'll get him for you. I'll get him. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get him for you. Adrian, you know, I, I wanted to make this video longer because there's so much about Bleach when you see it from the start. It's like a Naruto thing. The same thing with Naruto and Hinata. At the beginning of Naruto, Hinata was there be like, hey Naruto, hey Naruto this, hey Naruto that. She was out there in the outskirts. She wasn't ugly even. She wasn't she wasn't even ugly. She was good looking as you can see in the in the episode. I don't even know if it was I think it was a filler episode, I'm not even sure. Where she was dancing in the in the lake or whatever. You can see that she was in the sidelines. Same thing here with Bleach. You have Orihime here. Oh hey Ichigo on the sidelines, you know. I mean what did you expect? But here's the thing, here's the thing. Even though the Rukia fans, the Rukia waifu boys, or whatever you, whatever they call themselves, even though they have a mountain of evidence why Ichigo should have went with Rukia, and I see it, it's justified. It makes sense, it's clear, I, and it's concise. I don't care. I don't give a shit, nigga. Fuck you. Your waifu was shit. <laughs> Your waifu was shit. I'm sad, sorry, but Rukia shit. I'm sorry. Obviously, the best girl is Orihime. Because in that Ulkiora Ulkihime bullshit that they try to pull off, you can see that her heart was set on Ichigo. And as we go on, it's gonna be more clearly as the story progresses that it's uh, Ichigo, Ichigo and uh, Orihime. That was uh, that's how it was. That's how it's supposed to be ending. Anyways, yeah, your wife was shit. I'm sorry, Rukia. If your wife was Rukia, your wife was shit. Or a he may was best girl. <laughs>